Hi guys, this is my Why You Should Read Fires of Vengeance by Evan Winters, book two of The Burning Cycle. What's the target audience? The target audience is, I'd say, 16 plus, so it is definitely YA, or let's say it starts with 16 and it goes all the way up to an adult. I'm sure someone in their 60s can enjoy reading this. If you want to read a book with an African-style setting or with a Bronze Age-style setting, check this out. If you want to read a book with dragons, check this out. Now, really, this isn't like dragon writing, like the dragon writers of Pern or Aragon, but dragons are present. They are a weapon of war, that sort of thing. If you like sword fighting, the, these books have lots of sword fighting. You need to read book one first. This is book two. You need to read book one first for this to make any sense. Okay, let's move on. What are some similar books? I'd say this book has a theme of tribal violence, so I would compare it to Who Fears Death by Nnedi Okorafor in that case. If you want to read a book with a good deal of sword fighting and military combat, I'd suggest The Codex Alera by Jim Butcher. Uh, if you want to read a story that has a similar magic system where you spirit project yourself and your soul into the hostile underworld where you fight demons, I suggest the Old Kingdom series by Garth Nix. So what tropes does this use? In this case, I'd say that it includes political violence, uh, there is a civil war in this novel. There is also a, a transnational war. The people called the Omehi are being invaded by an outside force. This is a prototypical typical teenage power fantasy, just being calling it what it is. The protagonist likes, likes fighting and he's good at it. If you want to read about an OP protagonist who actually, in book one, I felt had a good character arc explaining why he was so powerful, check this out. If you want a good revenge quest, check out book one and two. Over the course of both of them, the protagonist gets revenge against his enemies. Okay, what genres is this? This is high fantasy, and I'd say this is epic fa fantasy as well. I'd also call this military fantasy. In book one, the protagonist goes to a military school where he learns how to be a soldier and he learns to fight. That continu continues on in this novel where it Tao and his queen are an active part of a military engagement, a civil war, and another war, like I said. It is also a political fantasy where the protagonists are fighting the antagonists uh, in their own nation in a civil war. For my personal reaction to this, this book made me feel at various points upbeat and exhilarated, and at other points frustrated and worried. I, overall, I was pleased with the book, but it had some negative aspects. As for my favorite parts about this book, I enjoyed the plot and I enjoyed the setting the most of all. The plot was a good elaboration of book one in the series. I liked this book's plot. In this book, the protagonist had to work really hard for his queen. He's the queen's bodyguard. I liked this book's prose. I feel as though the author has is improving from book one to this book two as an author. Uh, he His prose has gotten more smooth and fluid which is something I value when I read, read an author. His prose isn't beautiful like you'd say Guy Gabriel Kay or Patrick Rothfuss, but it is readable and it has at times good turns of phrase which I find to be very attractive to read, very exciting to read. I like the world building being African inspired. In book one, I particularly like the beginning of the book which went into the uh, daily life of village people in an African-style village. It's not an Af actual African village because this takes place on another planet with magic. But that was enjoyable for me to read. And then it transitioned into a revenge quest after the orphan farm boy's uh, father was killed. Now these emotions that it made me feel, bear in mind I enjoyed these. Those were positive emotions largely, but bear in mind I'm actually part of the target audience. So you'd expect me to enjoy it. Take that as a grain of salt. I enjoyed the plot of this novel. This is a, I enjoy political fantasy, and this is a political novel. Think of it sort of like a dumbed down version of like the Game of Thrones books, the Song of Ice and Fire books. It's not quite on that level at all, but it has similar themes, similar scheming going on in the background, and it has better sword fighting from what I've read. And that's it. See you later.